Hello everyone, Doris here. So if you've been following along my channel lately, then you know that I have been participating in the Seven Days of Spring, which was a collaboration between Dear Julie Julie and Care Brand and Creations. All of their information will be listed below, along with a playlist of the projects that I have made for this collaboration in more detail below this video. I combined all of the projects from the event into this one 40 page single signature journal. And you can see I've combined Kara and Julie's digitals uh, throughout each page in different ways. So for a closure for the journal, I used some vintage seam binding that I had, just wrapped it around. One of Kara's little elements, some butterflies from Kara. The green butterfly was from Julie's digital sheet, and I just added that on top of Kara's here. A little piece here from Kara. And the pocket down here was part of Julie's collection. And I did end up putting some Mod Podge over it just to protect it. On the inside of both covers here, I added some old ledger paper. This came from my bookkeeping school book has a lot of really interesting pages, so I thought it would be good in this journal. I've made a pocket on the front and back, piece from Julie's collection, butterfly from Kara's. This is one of my favorite pieces that came from Julie's Digitals, this postcard here. And the only thing I did was ran it through my die cut machine with this embossing piece over the top here. And then I just kind of inked the edges. On this side, we have a vellum pocket that I made. Julie's Finch card here. I just adhered it onto some cardstock and piece of fabric there. And a couple of old trims. The background here, this is a collage sheet from Kara. Butterfly here from Julie. There's a lot of lace trim on the edges of the pages. Avocado dyed tag that I had in my collection. Dictionary and Kara's digital piece there and there. Another large tag I made. Dictionary background. Pretty much all of the stamps you see throughout the book will be from Stampin' Up. If you have any questions at all about anything I've used here in the journal, uh, please just let me know. Put a little fabric tie on the top. Julie's butterfly up here. This was a piece from Julie's Digitals made into a pocket over here, a library pocket. This is from Kara. This here is Kara's piece of uh, crocheted trim up there with the tab. This background page is from Kara's Blushing Blooms collection that you can find at Etsy. This is a Stampin' Up! stamp that I that actually makes this postcard design. Um, on the last day of the digitals, I decided to take both sheets and just collage them onto a piece of cardstock. And so this is part of that collage page that I had done. And I rounded the corner, inked the edges. Over here on some ledger paper, couple little ephemera pieces from Kara, a stamp and a ticket. Just put some fabric on the edge there, a stamp. Coming over here, this is another piece of my collage that I cut down. Kara had a large tag in her one of her digitals, and then this is for a cutout from Julie. And I just added a little bit of stamping there and a couple different trims and some more stamping I did on the back and stitched all around the tag. Then over here on this ledger paper, I made a pocket. This came from Julie. This was one of her postcards. It had a different picture right here and I just cut it out and put a dictionary page behind it with a stamp. Added a little decorative edge with my scissors, some fabric, and one of Kara's tickets. And there is some stenciling on the underside of that ledger paper there. Piece of tracing paper that I just put some old rickrack on. 
book page, did a little stenciling, a couple more stamps. This ephemera piece from Kara I had enlarged and then made into a pocket. And then I made this journal card with dictionary, Kara's butterfly, and another piece from her collection. Um, her background page, and then a stamp, and did some stitching on here. Another little library pocket, a little tag, another little stamp on the back, and some couple different trims. Then over here we have a different kind of piece. Digital here is from one of Julie's older collections. I'm not sure which one it is. And then I put some trim up here. So this was made from using sewing tissue. I made a little pocket here. Some trim and stitched around it, one of Julie's images. Then on the inside, put some ledger paper, another piece from Julie's collection, Kara's little ticket. Inside a couple of Julie's trading cards. And I just rounded the corners and inked them up a little bit. Over here, I made a little tag slash journal card with from a piece from Kara's. A little trim at the top there I stitched across. Another journal card from Julie. And then I just folded it over the page. And this here green is also from Julie's collection, one of her collections, I'm not sure which one. Moving on to a writing page with a couple different trims. This came from the top of one of Julie's large tags. I added a little piece of scrapbook paper up here. One of Julie's trading cards. There's another ephemera piece of Kara's that I enlarged, made into a pocket. And she had these small ephemera pieces here, and again, I enlarged them a bit. There is kind of a little spot up here. I added this with the old ledger page. And you can tuck something up there that's small if you want. More trim on the side. This background page is from Julie's Yaya Spring Days again. Then we get to the center signature, scrapbook paper with some graph paper at the top here. And then for the ties in the middle, I use a couple little ephemera pieces that came from Kara. Thought they'd be cute to kind of add on. And then this background here, this is from Julie. Another one of Julie's. This is one of her actual library pockets that she had on one of her digital sheets. And one of Kara's library cards, I added a button and sewed on a little piece of fabric there for a tab. Zoom in a bit there so you can see. On the other side here, this I made into a little envelope. This is a background page from Kara. Added some trim. Another little ephemera piece from Kara. Then on the inside, this is another piece of my collage from that last day. Just rounded the corners and inked it up a little bit. Again, Julie's Digital. Another library pocket that I made with some old ledger, dictionary, little element there from Julie. And this was her library card. Over here, I made a little butterfly with and a little yellow ribbon there. Down here is a little ephemera piece from Julie. More trim. Some more stamping. Pocket here from Kara. This might have been an envelope, but I chose to make it into like a corner tuck. Added a little bit of trim. Journal card from Julie. Butterflies from Kara. Then on the back, I stamped my postcard stamp again and added an old stamp on there. And 
here. This is a femur piece from Julie. I believe that was another trading card. Here's her flinch card again. I stitched around it, added a little trim. And most of the trims in the book too are all vintage, except for there might be a stray little piece that is from the Dollar Tree. And then another cut up piece of my collage with a stamp. And over here, journal card from Kara. I added some vintage seam binding there with some uh, piece of lace on the top of it. Kind of zoom in so you can show you that up close. This is another collage piece from the big collage sheet that I did on that last day. Just added some, have some different elements on there. I stitched on a piece of fabric there. Just a little bit of stamping there. And the other piece is this little booklet that I had made from one of their digitals that day. A little couple trims. Again, this went through my embossing folder, inked up the raised part there. And then it opens up, there's room to write. A couple of stamps again. And these are all a couple little pieces from Kara's ephemera. And I just added this little piece of pretty trim. And that's the other side of where I did my stenciling. And I did want to mention, if anyone knows uh, where this paper collection is from, please let me know. I picked this as a, up as a single sheet at a garage sale along with some other individual sheets. And I absolutely love this, so I would love to have more. So let me know. It's the other side of the ledger with another stamp. Another part from my collage. Added a piece of lace over here. Again, another piece from my collage. Kara's ticket up there, the piece of trim. The other side from Kara's digital. And here we have a here we have a trading card from Julie. I added some glossy accents on here. A little fabric ruffle from that came from the front of my book. I had some leftover I put on there. Tag from Kara. Put a little eyelet in there, bulb pin, and a couple little ephemera pieces from Kara. Card from Julie. And another library card from Julie. And this piece again I've repeated from Kara and stitched around everything. And here I have a bingo card that was in my collection. Add a dictionary behind there and a beautiful piece from Julie. Here's her flinch guard once again. And another ephemera piece from Kara that I enlarged a bit. And down here, this is from Julie, had a vintage um, store ledger there. Made it into a little pocket. This is the back of that background page from Kara. I had made a little mistake here, so I just covered it up with a little number that I had from Julie. Here's that back pocket, just like the front. Different trading card from Julie, and also her butterfly. And then this was another library pocket I made with graph paper music. A little piece from Kara with some lace behind it. And a library card from Kara as well, and, and a tab on there. And then you can see the back that I collaged with all those old papers. And this is my journal from all of the pieces that I put together from the collaboration. Thank you so much for stopping by. And please be sure to check out all the extra information below this video. Till next time, make the most of every day. Bye for now.